Are you using the Zapier daytime format in step and you come to the to format list and you realize none of these formats are what you really want your dates and times to look like in your emails or your Slack messages, for example, or maybe also it doesn't match the region that you're in lifestyle wise, for example. So you have, okay, well, what do I do now? So this video is going to show you how you can actually use any custom format that you want to use in Zapier. And it just requires adding one extra step to your Zap before this action over here. And then it's gonna let us use whatever we want as our format. The trick where it comes to setting up this Zap is that if you come to the custom field of Zapier, you can put in the variable that you want in here. But the problem is you can't type anything you want. So if you type a variable, if you type something, it's all just gonna accept the values, which is kind of annoying. So what we have to do is we create an extra step just before our daytime formatter. And what I did was just I took formatter, utilities, uh, pick from a list, but I make it choose first and I only include one value anyway. So it's always gonna choose that same value. And this is our custom format. So I piecemealed it together based on the symbols that are used in that two format dropdown. So Day, uh, I wanted that to be Monday, Sunday, Tuesday. Then I wanted it to be the date, so the 20th or whatever. Then the month, the full month, and then the year, which that format doesn't exist in that drop down list. We created this as a variable so we can use it in the custom field. So now we've got the variable. Now we're going to use that custom field that we've got as our two format. So we're going to go to custom, come to that next step, add that as a variable, and you'll see now. I'm gonna run the test. So this was a previous format that I was trying on just to show you the difference. And then now I can use that in my email for whatever I wanna do basically. And it's in the format that I want and I can include hours, I can include the time, I can move the time zones, I can do all these different things now. But all we need to do is just to add a separate step that lets us return whatever date format that we wanted. Hopefully you found this video useful. Formatting dates and times can be a bit tricky in Zapier. So hopefully that was clear enough for you. And if you don't want to do this yourself, then you can also just reach out to me. I will help you. I am a certified Zapier expert and I can help you solve this problem for yourself. If you want to skill up on automations, if you want to learn to systemize your own business or do it for other people, then you can also reach out to me because I do a bit of one-on-one -on -one mentoring, helping you learn the technical skills that are actually going to let you do these things yourself without having to rely on someone else. Or if you want to do this for other people's businesses, you will have the skills and the technical knowledge to actually build these types of automations and do them quickly and do them well.